It's been a while since Prince William and Kate Middleton jetted across the world for an official royal tour, and their latest engagement marks the first time the couple has visited the Caribbean as the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. In celebration of the Queen's Platinum Jubilee, the week-long tour kicked off on March 19th with a stop in Belize. From there, the royal couple traveled on to Jamaica, where they explored the reggae heritage of music legend Bob Marley in the Kingston neighborhood of Trenchtown. After Prince William participated in a brief football game, he and Kate met Jamaican football stars and had the opportunity to meet with Jamaica's bobsled team. Fresh out of the 2022 Beijing Winter Olympics, the team invited the Duke and Duchess to sit in one of the bobsleds, or bobsleighs as they're more commonly known in the UK. Enthusiastically, the members posed for a photo with the Duke and Duchess, leading to an unusual breach of royal protocol, being included in a selfie. Oh, really? While William and Kate didn't share the selfie on social media, royal photographer Samir Hussein did, as did the bobsled team. They posted, What an honor it is to have the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge not only in Jamaica, but sitting in one of our history-making bobsleighs. We are thankful to the support and looking forward to once again being the hottest thing on ice in the 2026 Winter Olympics. Commenting that it was lovely to meet the team, William and Kate looked overjoyed to share this moment with them. The post continues to generate enthusiasm, racking up over 8,600 likes as of the making of this video. So what's so wrong with a royal taking a selfie? That's a very good question. The royal family's no-selfies practice is more of a convention than an official rule. While selfies aren't explicitly banned, the Queen reportedly isn't a huge fan of them. Matthew Barzun, former U.S. ambassador to Britain, told Tatler magazine that the Queen told him in 2013 that she finds it strange to see so many people attempting selfies with her. Barzun told the magazine, The Queen was essentially saying, I miss eye contact. At 95 years old, Queen Elizabeth is more accustomed to a screen-free world than most of us. However, the no-selfie practice has its roots in a long-held no-autographs policy, and both are based on security concerns. According to Express, royal autographs pose a forgery risk. For selfies, there is a different worry, CNN's royal correspondent Victoria Arbiter told Insider. From a security standpoint, selfies are also not ideal as they warrant a certain closeness. Royals would always rather have a personal interaction than have people clamoring for selfies. Another reason some royals have avoided selfies is simply out of personal preference. According to Hello, Prince Harry spoke of his dislike for selfies at a 2015 event in Australia. He said during a meet-and-greet session with a teen, I hate selfies. I know you're young, but selfies are bad. Just take a normal photograph. According to Daily Mail, Prince Harry has seemingly gotten over his dislike of selfies and was spotted taking one when he and Meghan Markle met a fan who looked amazingly like the Duchess did in her youth. The outlet also reported that Prince Charles was one of the first royals to buck the no-selfie practice as far back as 2014. Victoria Arbiter acknowledges that the no-selfies thing is ultimately pretty flexible, telling Insider, Royals do what feels right in any given moment. If a sick child on a hospital visit or at an awards evening asked for a selfie, most wouldn't hesitate, but on a walkabout, they're avoided. Prince Charles even famously extended this idea over to the concept of autographs when he signed Charles 2010 for a young child whose house was destroyed by heavy flooding, according to Express. In 2018, Prince William was also part of the No Selfie group, joking that he was allergic to selfies, according to Hello. Clearly, things have changed based on the joy he and Kate Middleton exhibited in the photo with the Jamaican athletes. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.